Good morning. Good. No, no, we're not doing that. That, that is, that is, that is copyrighted. We are not copying that. <laughs> We are going to the march downtown in protest of the slavery going on in Libya. We're a little late, but we're all wearing our colors. I'm in all black. She has a red shirt and black. So the colors are basically black, red, and green. And green. And tonight is our friend's boyfriend's party. We don't really know if we're going yet. Well, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, we, we, we're going to have to go. We're just, we're going to have to go. Like, we don't really have a choice. <sighs> if I'm going, it's going to be very late. It's going to be late. Like, I just feel like I have things to do. Okay, but how late is late? After 11. Okay, that's the normal time you go to a party. She's so fucking dramatic. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be very late. I'm like, I think it's gonna be like very late at like, at like I'm not starting to get ready until that time. 11 o'clock? Yes. Why? Yes. This girl always, this girl, one thing about fucking Shinika, Shinika always has 150 things to do that she doesn't really have to fucking. So we're running just a little bit late, but oh my god, your 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 rim. I know, I know, don't worry, guys. <laughs> okay, so we're running a little bit late, but we actually just saw some of the protesters, and we're about to go join them. This girl's, I guess, looking down her edges. Yeah, I know. But sorry, I wasn't. Yeah, I didn't come back this way, and I need to oh, put my backpack on. I wasn't gonna keep my. Look at this zit. It's just trying to take the whole show. These two zits, one right there and one there. Like fuck, bro. Get them in the same stupid spots. So cute that she made that. Good for her. Okay, bro, let's join this. Let's go. Trudeau, slavery has got to go. Hello, Trudeau, slavery has got to go. Gotta go back to the front of the building where we started. Everybody that wants a, a, a media opportunity, go to the bottom of the walkway. Everyone gotta walk down. So we're gonna walk down. I want you at your loudest. I want you at your biggest, most visible. And it's your final walk. All right. So let's be her. All right. No one leaves home unless home is the mouth of a shark. You only run for the border when you see the whole city running with you. Your neighbors running faster than you, breath bloody in their throats. The boy you went to school with who keeps you dizzy behind the old tin factory and holding a gun bigger than his body. You only leave home when home won't let you stay. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that no one puts children in a boat unless water is safer than land. Mm. No one burns their palms under trains beneath carriages. No one spends days and nights in the stomach of a trunk feeding on newspaper unless the miles traveled means something more than the journey. No one crawls under fences. No one wants to be beaten, pitied. No one chooses refugee camps or strip searches where your body is left aching or prison because prison is safer than a city of fire. And one prison guard in the night is better than a truckload of men who look like your father. No one could take it. No one could stomach it. No one's skin would be tough enough. The go home blacks, refugees, dirty immigrants, asylum seekers sucking our country dry with their hands out. They smell strange, savage, messed up their country and now they want to mess ours up. How do the words, the dirty looks roll off your backs? Maybe because the blow is softer than a limb torn off. Or the words are more tender than 14 men between your legs. Or the insults are easier to swallow than rubble, than bone, than your child's body in pieces. I want to go home. 
but home is the mouth of a shark. Home is the barrel of a gun, and no one would leave home unless home chased you to the shore. Unless home told you to quicken your legs, leave your clothes behind, crawl through the desert, wade through oceans, drown, save, be hungry, beg, forget pride, your survival is more important. Fold between the tension centers and caught in the wrong hands will be a built an economy on trading African lives for sm from smuggler to militia to trafficker. I have seen so many stories of murderous officers and bystanders from government officials, and this is, we are here to say that's enough. Yeah, enough. We've had yeah. enough. Enough yes. is enough. In detention centers, yeah. it is not just men and women being jailed and trafficked, it is our children too. Mm -hmm. Shame. Quote, Tanahasi quote on incarceration spoke about the way politicians um, treat the deaths of black males and by some extension, um, I'm going to say black migrants, <coughs> because as some unfortunate state of nature, rather than the manifestation of fixable problems whose origins lie not in cultural deficiency, but racist policy. Racist policy manifested looks like people fleeing to Egypt and Libya because they know processing times in Kenya is longer. Yeah. Because they know they could be spending the rest of their life in a camp. According to the United Nations, developing countries, mostly in Africa, are taking in a disproportionate number of refugees. Roughly 80% of the world's refugee population is in sub-Saharan Africa. Eight. Who is accountable to stateless people? Mm -hmm. Men are being sold for labor, and women are being sold into sex slavery with their children. Black migrants are being ab abused, yeah. and their pain goes unrecognized. Our bruises don't show. The migrant crisis is not new, not to Africa, yeah. and we are here to incite action. The governing bodies, um, <coughs> with this protest, we want to see that governing body see stateless people as people worth and in need of our protection, and that is why we are here today. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's not, it doesn't stop here. As we speak, since 2012, people have been in slavery, and this is not good. Like, it appeals so much to me, as I was born and raised in Nigeria, and these could be my people. So, like, these are my people. They, they, are my, they could be my brothers for and victory. sisters. So it could be me. So they are my people. So we want to. There's a man named. It doesn't victory. even matter where you're from, whatever you are. Like, this is human. This is a human rights issue. Yeah. So let's yeah. fight it's this true. as much as we can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about it's a right. Yeah. It's nothing about exactly. It doesn't matter who's doing it. It's wrong. Like, it should be about it. At all. And Who's not free? That's, this is 2017. Our ancestors fought against it. Yeah, we yeah, have yeah. to fight for it yeah. now. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's fight for it. Yeah. So it doesn't just stop here. Like we're not just gonna be kept quiet. We're gonna talk to as many people as possible. Yeah. Like she said we have some demands, but we're gonna look into it. We're gonna work towards it. And by the grace of God, we're gonna talk to as many people as we have to till this is satisfied. Yeah. If, if it takes one month, two months, a year, two years, it doesn't matter to me. We have to fight. Okay. Page for victory for my. Village, the door stay. He got caught up in this whole thing, and he's on the news. You can look it up on CNN, and he's still over there. So his parents had to sell money just to get him out of slavery, sell their land, sell everything. So there's people that are close to us that are in this situation, and that's why we have to do this, that's not crazy. just for us, but yeah. for everyone around us. Let them know that we're not going to let this happen. Yeah. And that's why I want to quote Nelson Mandela because. We have to do it for Mandela because if yeah. Mandela was here right now, he would be Fighting. here right yeah, now. For sure. yeah. Right? So I'm going to quote what he said because today we are going forward. The march to life, freedom, and justice is irreversible. Yeah. And that's how we have to live. Yeah. We march for freedom, justice for the rest of our life, even if it takes our life. Because you got to live for something or die for nothing. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So today we're living for something. And if we die by it, then God be it. Because there's a lot of people that need life. And we have life. So if it takes our lives to give life, so then that's how it has to be. Um, so when we're talking about slavery of black people, like you have to remember who did it before white people. Who, the, who inspired white people to do it? Sorry. It was Arabs. And that is happening to this day. You guys need to 
know the history before y'all start shutting people up and I'm telling y'all how it is and it's not only oh who's in charge of this like these pictures that we're seeing online we, we may we may not know exactly who is in charge but who is who is who are the women in Africa being trafficked into sex slaves and all these things it's the Arabs that are doing it so naming it is not a problem okay this specific crisis of these specific pictures that have surfaced online we don't know who is implicit in these activities but naming that Arab supremacy is behind this in Africa should not be a problem at and, all. And that's yeah, true. That's true. yeah. So I don't like. I don't like. If you're gonna come with like, you know, shutting him down, you gotta come with the facts, cause like, the Arabs been doing this. So like you yeah, said, like you said, hold on, Jordan, Jordan, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like you, like you just said, like I had distant cousins who's who who who've been trafficked. Like if we're talking about organ harvesting, do you know what's happening in Africa? The migrants that are being sold, mothers and children that are being cut alive, their organs are being taken and put in the black market. Like this has been happening for a minute now. It's not something new, and it's the Arabs that are behind it, and oh. I'm just saying. Right, so, to, like, hold on, hold so on, know, okay. Gotta name it. We can't come together and be like, oh yeah, we want change, but like, you know, we're not gonna, like, you know, we're not gonna name that. It's as you're informing us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna say something now. As organized, I'm sorry, you can't say something. I'm so sorry, just, just, because we have to wrap up and we have a scheduled meeting. Sorry. Our letter of acknowledgement is up until 3 p.m. and we're gonna respect that. So we're leaving the march now. It was actually really, really interesting. It was Everything very is timing. Every time we see you should go to something, even if we don't go on time, we always go at the right time. There's some questions that were being really asked good. by one of the, the, the um, I Marchers? guess, the participants. Yeah. But I'm not sure if he was there the entire time. But I don't know. I think he was. He. He was very passionate. He asked the question things. and. He wasn't getting the answer that he wanted, so he was very persistent and kept repeating the question. And I almost started coming across a little hostile, which is why then the organizers just continued chanting what they were chanting because he was asking a question that they didn't have the full answer to him because, you know, media there was media around, right. they didn't want to really yeah, give the wrong the answer. Wrong <clears throat> so he wasn't happy with that. But then there was a girl, I believe her name is Jordan, and she spoke up afterwards. No, her name's not Jordan. I don't, but the guy kept calling her Jordan. So oh. I'm not sure. When somebody asked me what her name was, it starts with the N. So then I'm wrong. There's a girl that those. started speaking about the injustices and the slavery and basically more so the sex trade. And she, she gave us she some information. Family that she gave us some information as to how it started, who started it, and just basically let everyone know that it's been going on for some time now. Yeah, because I didn't even know. That's crazy. It's just it's just crazy that a lot all of these things, things are still happening and stuff, you know? you in really this. Know in this century, in this time, you know, 2017, and we're still going through all of these things. It's really sad, Pretty it's really unfortunate. All the ancestors, everyone's fought, fought for freedom and all these things, and it's happening again. It's like, what? And it's been happening, you know? Yeah. That's what she was saying. She's like, it's been happening for years now. And it's just, it's just we all need to get together as a people and just stop it. We'll do no our no human it, being, yeah. period, black, white, fucking pink, whatever, should have to deal with that, deal with that or be uh, should be slaved or or held against their will or have to be going into sex. It's just it's That's just it's up. crazy. We are cold. Glad we took part in um, and participated in something like this. You know, like, yeah, it's my first time in it. It felt yeah. good. I will definitely. It felt empowering. Again. So we're gonna keep in touch with these people to find out when the next the march next is. Movement, the next, yeah. yeah, basically what the next steps are. I'm walking across the road and people are staring at us because the fucking camera is so big. <laughs> <laughs> we're going back to the car now. And we're gonna get some food. Ooh. We're gonna get some food and something warm to drink. I, honestly, I would love a, a French cocoa. vanilla. No, I love a French <laughs> vanilla. Right I'm just being extra. Because you know, you're actually like, can I have some hot I think cocoa? my lips are frozen. My feel, lips feel numb. My ears are done. But I want a French vanilla from Tim Hortons. <sighs> I feel like that right now would just hit the spot. Wait, not a French. A white hot chocolate. That's it. A white hot chocolate. Yeah, for a French vanilla bubble up your belly. A white hot chocolate would be <laughs> perfect. We're getting food and we're getting food at Amsterdam. I think it's called Amsterdam Brewery. My mouth's mush, mush mouth. Okay, let's get out the car. So, I'm gonna take my own pick. I'm coming. I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. She's gonna take a pick, so I guess she'll meet me there. Oh, it's called Barrel. Uh, okay, I think it's called Amsterdam Barrel House. So initially we were gonna go to Old York Fish and Chips, but like, I don't know, Fish and Chips is delicious, but we kind of want to try this new place. We've actually never been here. I feel like it's popular, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if it's good, I feel like it would be good. Reserved for, what are these? 
Oh, for your bike. Oh my gosh, you could break your bike. So no snow gets on it. <laughs> sure, my hair looks like this. It's actually not that short. It's so funny. Yeah, the menu. This is a menu. Actually, looks pretty good. There's a lot of stuff on there. Apple butter barbecue wings. That sounds fucking amazing. Girl, I'm looking for something good. Some hungry. I feel like I want to try an appetizer. I feel like I have the brisket set. Alright, where did you see that? Oh, sandwiches. I feel like I want to have the fish tacos. I know, I've seen that too. I was thinking the same thing. Okay, guys, we're gonna look at the menu, decide what we want to eat, and then when we get our food, we'll show it. So we ordered this. Uh, we also ordered that. And for both of our entrees, we got the smokehouse burger. And then for our drinks. Or for my drink, I have the Richmond and John um, flight. So the flight comes with four mini beers. And I get the three speed lager, natural blonde lager, raspberry wheat beer. I love wheat beers. And then this is a rotating beer right now. I didn't vlog, so here I am vlogging. We are so late. We were supposed to be at this party for 11. It is like 12.40. But yeah, this is my outfit. We just got back home and I'm starved. So I'm gonna warm up my food. Okay, that's actually she needs food. My food's in here. So I'm gonna warm up my food from the restaurant we went to earlier, I can't remember the name right now. And I'm also gonna warm up some soup that we got from some random place in the West End. They sell food at awkward times. So, whoa! You guys probably don't know, but this is okra soup and I'm about to inhale the crap out of this. I need to wash my hair, well, wash my face and pull my hair up. I filmed a tutorial on this look. It was really honestly rushed. It wasn't like how I would have expected it to be, but I did film this look. And yeah. So I hope you guys like it. Oh, this is clean. But I'm so hungry. <gasps> I get my for the right price, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is just cold as fuck. What? Nah, my um, shit, my bread's kind of cold too, so F. What's going do, on, YouTube? I'm about to do this. Uh, my face, I have to wipe off my face, like, no. I'm so happy to have this food to eat now. Actually, I feel like I need to wash my face now. Yeah, like, I want to eat it. Yeah, I can't wait. Night, night. I need to eat and knock. I'm actually going to wash my face, change my dress, put my hair up. And then I'll be back. And I don't care, I'm wearing this dress again because this dress was cute as shit. And, and I wasted it. Yeah. <laughs>